Hi, and welcome to this segment of Your Black World News. I'm your host, Roseville Mitchell III. In his documentary, Hunting for Princess Vault, investigative reporter and filmmaker Mobin Azar hounded the lawyers, managers, engineers, and musicians at the Purple Rain Singers Paisley Park Recording Studio for details about his extensive back catalog. He then told the Daily News that there is enough unreleased studio material for Prince to put out an album a year for the next 100 years. Susan Rogers, Prince's former recording engineer, revealed to Azar that she started the ball when she joined Prince in 1983. So he leaves behind a collection of unreleased music so vast that his estate could put out an album every year for the next 100 years. Prince's Secret Vault has thousands of unreleased albums, songs, and also movies. David Z, Prince's longtime friend and engineer, stated that they used to do two songs per day, and Prince just put them away, and that he would like to see them come out because a lot of them were very, very good. Alan Lee's Prince's former tour manager and president of Paisley Park Records until the year 1992 stated that Prince recorded every concert he ever did and they could be boxed up in sets of 10 CDs just of his live concerts from different eras in his career. The vault has a bank door and wheel on it similar to a bank vault. So now what? Will we ever get to hear any of these songs? Well, according to the Wall Street Journal, Warner Music Group co-owns the rights to all of Prince's unreleased music recorded between 1978 and 1996, so those songs can't be released without permission from the label and whoever takes over Prince's estate. So, do you think we will ever get a chance to hear all of this material in Prince's Secret Vault or see those live concerts? I would love to hear what you think, so please leave a comment in the section below. And until next time, my friends, be blessed and be encouraged.